Do you find yourself struggling with finances? Do you have trouble investing in a holistic health program that you so badly want to take, but you just feel like you can't afford it? Then this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to afford holistic health programs, whatever program you choose. So we're going to be talking about how to save um, what it looks like to invest in a program, the benefits of investing in a program, and the overall transformation that you're going to have, and just how easy it is to actually afford a program, even a higher price program. So definitely stay tuned for that. If we're just meeting for the first time, I'm Abishai L, a spiritual medium and holistic health slash life coach showing you how to live well through nutrition, lifestyle, spirituality, and beauty. And this video is no different, although I do have different videos. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you are just tuning in, like I said, for the first time, make sure you are subscribed. Um, you hit the notification bell and feel free to share this video with whoever you know. So affording a holistic health program. When you have all of these expenses, it can certainly be overwhelming to invest in a program. You feel like that is probably the last priority. And I find that people tend to put themselves last. And I'm like, no, it's the other way around. Because let's face it, we grow up in a society where sometimes your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health and spiritual health is on the back burner. And to invest in a program that actually supports you, it seems um, a little bit selfish and a little bit silly. Um, to the corporate world. So if you're used to working a nine to five job and working for someone who has a certain mindset when it comes to holistic health, because let's face it, a lot of people still are, um, especially like I said, with nine to five jobs, insurance and everything, you still have, um, what is it? A, that's the, the Virgo in my chart. <laughs> <laughs> getting distracted by little things. I felt something on me. I think it was my scarf or my hair. Anyways, so people in that kind of environment, they tend to still seek out um, mainstream doctors, doctors who promote uh, prescription medications and things of that nature. Those medications have their place. Like if you're in a car accident or something dire or something's hanging off, a body part is hanging off or something like that, they <laughs> have yeah, their place. Um, so the focus is really on, so it's like holistic healthcare is something that's considered fun and something that can wait or can be held off because there's been a brainwashing. So I just want you to take a moment while you're watching this video right now. And I want you to write down what you think holistic health is. What do you think the benefits of holistic health are? And we'll see if they match up for the end of this video. And how do you think that they can actually support you? Like, what are you looking for in holistic health that you cannot necessarily find going to a conventional doctor who's not about progressive medicines, you know, like plant medicines and things of that nature. They still do the, I call them the side effect bottles. <laughs> side effect bottles, I call them, because they're filled with side effects. And like I said, they have their place but it's not to be every day. Some people, not to get off on a tangent, but this is important because there's so many people are walking around with like high blood pressure medications for 10 and 20 years plus. And I'm like, you know, you could get your blood pressure down in less than two weeks. Like it's so simple, some of this stuff, but it's a mindset thing. <laughs> That always reminds me of Funny Marco. It's a mindset thing. It really is. 
you know, I used to be afraid of cancer um, because it was like a, a death sentence to me until I had it. And I was just like, thank God I had all the research behind it, you know, to actually get rid of it and reverse it. Um, because people are still fearful of it. People are still fearful of um, liver failure, which I've also had. People are, and like I said, you can watch my video with Dr. Morris. It's public knowledge. It's public knowledge. So there is, with pictures, there is nothing that I can pull out, out of my ass, okay? If I wanted to. Um, I wish I didn't deal with certain things, although I don't regret anything. Um, as well as kidney failure. I came across a video on TikTok and the girl was just like, this is gonna be her last moments. And I'm just like, if only people knew how, I wouldn't say it's easy, but how simple it is to actually <laughs> reverse kidney failure. Again, it's a mindset thing. It's what they place. They. It's like, oh, you have renal failure and you're gonna have to be on the dialysis. And it's, it's a protocol that does not work for everybody's body. And that's what I like about holistic health. Um, it's, it's, it's depending on where you go, what I do with my clients, um, which is very limited at this point in my life, um, functional medicine, functional diagnostics, um, not that I diagnose, you know, unless spirit has me to, I have people consult with their doctors, but I am able to work with doctors. So, but it's functional. We look at each body part. We look at the, what happened in your childhood, what's happening in, you know, your workplace, what's going on in your head, you know, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual versus, okay, when you come in, we're gonna put you through, a, it's a typical BS, put you through a CAT scan, MRI, radiation, bone marrow, whatever they, whatever they do. Um, then we're gonna put you, give you an ultrasound and we're gonna give you this medication. For, it does not work for everybody. And that's why working with someone who's holistic really sets you up for success. Hopefully they know what they're doing really sets you up for success because they're looking at all of the factors that someone in mainstream medicine would overlook because they're treating you the same as everybody else, not recognizing that everybody has different biochemistry, everybody has different genetics. Genetics play a small role, believe it or not, but they're not taking, in, taking that into consideration. They're giving everyone the same blood tests. Some people don't need the same blood tests, you know, so to diagnose people. And that's why I was undiagnosed with uh, diabetes as well as cancer because they gave me the same blood tests as everybody else. So they couldn't see that on there. So I had to go to a naturopath who said you're either on the acid side of chemistry or the alkaline side of chemistry and really explained to me that cancer is a damaged cell and I had damaged cells. Cause other than that, it was like, you could go into some of these places with your face disfigured, which I did, my face was disfigured. Um, feel free to email me if you wanna see those pictures or go to my Instagram, you scroll all the way down Yes, I still have some of those pictures up and you could see my my face progress. I had burned from the inside out due to it's it's a whole story. Feel free to just peruse that. And I actually walked in the hospital like that and they basically told me that nothing was wrong. I'm like, clearly something is wrong. You know, it's not normal for me to be walking around with, you know, feeling like I have, I've, it felt really tight, like I had paper mache on my face so they take certain things lightly when they don't understand it and that's another reason why so holistic health is a great investment because you're able to transform your entire life um whenever i hear people say they're gonna put their health on the back burner or they can't afford it i'm like well how are you walking around this planet mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually well. So let's take a look. 
you, you have to spend for groceries, right? Because you think that's a necessity. And it is. You have to spend for clothes sometimes. Sometimes you spend for your nails, your hair, what have you. I want you to take a moment and add all of those things up. What do you spend a week? Okay? Then I want you to take what you spend a week, multiply that. Multiply that times four. That's what you spend for four weeks. Typically, if we're in February, it's a different story, right? Um, typically, there's four weeks <laughs> in a month. Um, I think there, there's four weeks in every month, but give or take February. Just, I'm just saying it's not exact days, okay? So just multiply that by four. Then I want you to take that and work backwards. What I mean by working backwards is say, okay, how much, how much did you spend? What is, how much did you get paid? Like what was your, I don't know, how much do you get paid from work? Do you get paid weekly? Do you get paid every other week? Work backwards, subtract what you spend a month. Are those things you spend on more important than your health? Are you spending because you have an emotional void? Are you spending on material things because you have an emotional void? Do you want to hold on to that emotional void? So you have to be ready for holistic health because it's really going to, a holistic health program is going to help you with traumas, it's going to help you with anxiety, it's going to help you with overwhelm. My top notch program is my Eat Stress Away program. That's my higher, higher price program in the thousands as it should be. And I appreciate people who um, came in the program on a flash sale basis, they did. So that's what you wanna look at is investing in a program that helps you with those things. Um, are you stuck? You know, are you stuck in life? There's also holistic health programs that help you with your purpose. That's why I have a variety of different ones. Do you need a life coach? Are you able to get yourself out of a funk? Are you able to get yourself out of a depression? Um, are you in a toxic situation? This is why you need holistic health. Because even my client, if you listen to the podcast episode I did with my client, Angie, she was telling me how she does go to therapy, but it's not the same. Therapy, you just keep going and going and going. It doesn't give you a transformative experience, which is what holistic, a holistic health program will give you, is a transformative experience so you can progress in life and not go backwards, not regress. So you always want to progress, not regress. And I digress <laughs> because I want you to write a comment below as to what you want to work on. What are you looking to change or up level in your life so you can make it to the next level so you can progress? I wanna know what's holding you back. Uh, and yeah, just just post that. So. How you're able to afford it is actually by seeing the significance in it. If making it a priority and the way you're going to make it a priority is by truly having, you know, self-love for yourself, recognizing that it's okay to invest in yourself and you don't have to put it on the back burner, um, allowing yourself to transform, especially during this time, this time, you know, there's different retrogrades going on and it's time to reflect so you can move forward. And I feel like people are missing that. Um, some people get it and some people don't. You know, it's really important. Now, I'm not saying you have to be in a program for all eternity, but if you know that you um, have certain ailments that you just can't get rid of, you're overweight and it's affecting your life and you know it's it's not healthy for your body to hold all that weight because weight stores um, toxins um, and that's why when working with when I was speaking with a holistic doctor on my podcast 
he's very adamant about people losing weight um, because it causes so many ailments, diabetes, um, various, various illnesses, various illnesses. And we really have to get to the root as to why you're doing certain things, why you think certain way. Um, do you find that you're, you don't feel good about yourself? All of these things, if you are dealing with all of these things, you need to work with somebody. You need to put yourself first because we're on this earth to reach our higher self and also to raise a vibration so we can help other people as well. So that is how you're going to afford um, a holistic health coaching program. Um, what else was I going to say? Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, seeing the significance in it, setting aside, you know, funds. If let's say you make, I don't know, I don't know, let's say you make 300 to 500 every two weeks. Set aside 100 to 200 and say, I'm going to just leave this here for me to invest in something that supports my health. It could be you signing up for a, a health coaching session. It could be for you getting, you know, a massage done. It could be for you going to a chiropractor. I highly recommend you having like a savings for holistic health because it will change your life. You know, a lot of um, sicknesses are due to emotions. A lot of physical ailments have to do with unresolved traumas. And so if you don't know how to deal with that, work with someone who will help you through that. So then you can help yourself because you're just going to be going on the, the, what is it? The mouse wheel, just going around and around in circles. And it gets worse every single time the circle just goes down and down and downhill from there so recognizing that you need to work with someone getting your ego out of the way and that arrogance out of the way um and not wanting to do it on your own all the time is really going to be uh, beneficial so set aside 100 to 200 let's say every two weeks for that specifically you cannot spend it on anything else um, what do you spend on groceries? You know, start budgeting certain things and that'll make you see that, oh, I can actually invest in it. And then kindly ask the coach or whoever um, is working with your doctor, whoever you want to go to, do they have payment plans? Let them know how much you can spend. If you find that you've been saving 400 each month, see if there if there's a program that you can invest 400 a month into my programs range from where's the range the lowest program i would say is is now 400 so 400 to 4500 so those are my program prices i let people do payment plans if needed um and i appreciate people who do invest in themselves um regardless and so there's also spiritual readings that i have where i do holistic health basically like consultations and give you a protocol so there's various various things that you can do to afford a program everything is affordable if you want to afford it ask people their price points different prices um see if you like i said can do payment plans make your life simple let people know your goals. Let them know what you want to work on. Find solutions. You know, actively look for that. And that's how you're going to be able to afford holistic health, which is true health care. And it's imperative because you don't want to um, walk around and have something detrimental happen that could have been avoided. You know, now you're in this situation. That's why I have holistic health. Um, programs because warning comes before destruction if you work with someone who is spiritual you know I also have do medical astrology readings who can see oh my god this is gonna happen or I could have told you that before it happened or 
um, you need to eat this specific thing um, or don't go here during this date and time because such and such will happen. Um, I mean, everyone has free will, but it just pays to work with someone who can see that maybe you're walking around with certain ailments and let's say you didn't work with them, it'll be too late, you know? It's too late. I've seen some people do that, be very rebellious in working with someone and ending up in hospice for something that could have been resolved. It could have been resolved. Like that was nothing to end up in hospice over. And I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. Even with like the little, little things, like small things, like colds and viruses and stuff. It's a mindset thing. It's all in what you find is important. And I feel like that's a lower vibrational entity that wants to keep a lot of people in this mindset of I can't afford and this lack mindset to the point where it really sabotages lives and takes lives because of that mindset. So get out of that mindset of you cannot afford, you cannot invest in yourself because you can, you just need a plan. Okay? I was thinking of a quote from Father of the Bride, what was it? the eye is the window of the of the room or whatever take that spiritually your eye is the window of your future of what you want to create what, how you want to invest in yourself how you want your life to look so be sure to consult with your spirit and not get in your way and be in this stuck state of just have just penny pinching or having a little or you know being afraid to invest in yourself you can't put yourself on the back burner how are you functioning you know just ask people see if they'll work with you okay so let's go into the word of the day jenatham salutame that is holistic health in Latin. That is one of my languages. I hope I didn't butcher it. <laughs> so holistic health because it's truly important. And since I'm doing this video on how to afford holistic health, I'm going to do my holistic health cards. I have essential oils and crystals on them. Let's see. Um, someone needs to be careful that they don't have a heart attack because I'm seeing that for someone or someone's relative. It's a male. It could be any male. Be careful eating beef or pork. Some of you need to lay off of spinach. Some of you need spinach. Some of you could benefit from uh, blueberries to get out mucus. Um, yeah, someone has mucus. Let me see what else. Yeah, someone needs spinach. Anything else? Yeah, I don't need these. I just get messages. I just like these ginger, clove, cinnamon. Creativity. Creativity, but this clove, though. Boost immunity, clove, cinnamon, ginger, get outside, get outside in nature, okay? I'm also getting rutabagas too to ground ground yourself. You need to ground yourself. Carnelian, red jasper, rhodonite, anything red, red crystals. Okay, so I hope that video helps. That was a short reading. I don't do long readings on here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye, lovely peacefuls.